Zitra Yalaza, ya Zitra Alasteria. Hello everyone and welcome back to Everybody Loves English. Ya sas pedia ke kalosorisate sto Everybody Loves English. Zitra Yalaza mas ke Zitra Alasteria. Hey guys, did you hear? The Greeks are celebrating 200 years of independence and the whole world is turning Greek on March 25th, 2021 to celebrate their bicentennial. Want to know more about this? Watch this video. Pame! Hello everyone and welcome back to Everybody Loves English with me, your English teacher, Mr. Nick. Today we celebrate the Greeks. March 25th is an important day for every Greek living in Greece, Cyprus and all over the world. It is actually a double holiday, one part religious and one part patriotic. From the religious aspect, on March 25th, Greeks celebrate the Feast of the Annunciation, which commemorates the visit of the Archangel Gabriel to the Virgin Mary, during which he informed her that she would be the mother of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. And if you do the math, it's exactly nine months before Christmas. It all makes sense. From the patriotic aspect, on March 25th, Greeks celebrate the Greek Revolution of 1821 against the Ottoman Empire. In 2021, they will be celebrating 200 years of independence. And that's what we'll be focusing on in today's video. You see, the Greeks are a very proud people. They value their ancestors and history very much. After all, Greece gave us trial by jury, the theater, the marathon, the Olympic games, the basis of geometry, lighthouses, alarm clocks, democracy, and philosophy. So when you think of the revolution of 1821, well, the Greeks really wanted it and they were going to get it. This came after almost 400 years of Turkish occupation. This occupation began in 1453 with the fall of Constantinople, which is now known as Istanbul. The name Istanbul comes from the Greek phrase Istinpolin, which in Greek means to the city and is how Constantinople was referred to by the local Greeks in those days. The Greek revolt of 1821 began when Bishop Germanos of Patra raised the flag of the revolution over the monastery of St. Lavra, or as the Greeks call it, Agia Lavra, in the Peloponnese. The cry, freedom or death, Eleftheria i Thanatos, became the motto of the revolution. Several revolts against Turkish rule had broken out in different areas of Greece. Within a year, the rebels had gained control and declared the independence of Greece. In today's video, you will learn about the history of this day and how Greeks all over the world honor it and celebrate it. This revolution was organized by a secret society called Filiki Eteria which translates to a society of friends. During the revolution, the Philhellenic movement was created, which caught the attention of the great powers of Europe. So after a series of international treaties, Greek independence was recognized in 1830. Today, March 25th is a public holiday in Greece, so all schools remained closed. But on the day before it, Schools are decorated with Greek flags and bay leaves which symbolize victory. Students, with the help of their teachers, organize various events that includes speeches, patriotic songs, and school plays which revive various scenes of the Greek Revolution. A popular patriotic hymn that is sung often is Thurios written by Rigas Fereos in 1797 to stir up the Greeks and their patriotic emotions with his lyrics, it's better to live for one hour as a free human being than to live for 40 years as a slave and a prisoner. The slogan of the revolution, freedom or death, that we mentioned earlier, is also mentioned during these events. The cross on the Greek flag symbolizes the official religion of Greece, 
Christianity. The Greek flag has nine blue and white stripes of equal thickness, which symbolize the nine syllables of freedom or death in Greek. Eleftheria e thanatos. It also represents the nine letters of the Greek word for freedom, which is eleftheria. On this day in Greece and all over the world, many balconies are decorated with the Greek flag. It's also perceived as a great honor for someone to be asked to carry the flag in the traditional annual parade or parelasi that often takes place in many cities throughout the world. That honor usually goes to the students with the highest marks in the school that year. In Athens, a large military parade takes place that gets broadcast on television. While in other places, there are student parades with the participation of scouts, military units, and cultural associations. The members of these associations are usually dressed in traditional apparel. Children, along with young men and women, as well as some elders, can be seen dressed in the traditional tsolya and amalia costumes. Getting together to go see the Greek Independence Day Parade or Parelasi with family and friends of all nationalities is a common tradition all over the world. After the parade, it's customary for everyone to head out to their favorite Greek restaurants for some traditional meals. They usually order plates of bacalaros skordalia, which is fried salty codfish with garlic sauce made of potato and olive oil. Trust me when I say it's delicious. Large Greek communities exist throughout the world. Some of the largest populations of Greeks outside of Greece are in the United States, Australia, Canada, Germany, and the UK. In every corner of the globe where members of the Greek community exist, iconic landmarks in all of those countries will be illuminated in blue and white lights in honor of the Greek people and the Greek Revolution. Places like Niagara Falls, Toronto's CN Tower, San Francisco's City Hall in California, the iconic pylons outside of the International Airport in Los Angeles, LAX, the Santa Monica Pier's Pacific Wheel will also have a special evening-long light show for Greek Independence Day on March 25th, and all over the world in places where Greeks immigrated to in past centuries and decades in their search for a better life. If you have friends, classmates, or co-workers that are Greek, make sure to wish them a happy Independence Day by saying Zito Yelada, Zito Yelas, or simply by saying Zito. And if you enjoyed today's video, remember to hit subscribe, Hit that little bell to get notified every time we publish a new video. And you know why? Because everybody loves English. Zito y alada, zito y lefteria, and thanks for watching.